I really don't want to lose my son, you know, to the obesis or the, the heart attacks. You know, I have myself have had a lot of them. I have a triple bypass. I have seven stints. And I see him heading that way. That's what go. I'm talking about. That's like my birthday cake. All right. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. I think it's uh, brought her down into, um, I don't know, what you can say is a small part of um, depression in a sense. How did I get this way? It's good, Mom. It's really difficult for uh, Clark to go out places because you have to consider, is there a seat for him? Throughout her life, she's kind of struggled it, been back and forth. She's lost, she's gained, she's tried a variety of different things. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was about 14 years old and I had um, a very abusive stepfather. So I turned to the food for comfort. I weigh about 235 pounds and I would love to lose, would love realistically being a mother and after the hip spread, would love to lose 90 pounds, would be very happy with 70. So, or 100 even, I could afford to lose 100. In the past seasons when I've watched The Biggest Loser and I've seen him working out really hard and I'm like, oh, I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow. I'm going to get on that treadmill tomorrow and, you know, finally use that membership I haven't used in six months. Um, but then I wake up in the morning and the routine starts and I got to get the kids up, get them to school. And then I'm thinking, well, what paperwork needs to be done before I open? So I'm thinking, you know, there's a lot of paperwork I need to do. So I never make it to the gym. Erica really is everything she does. She does wholeheartedly. And I really think that she would, um, she'll go for it. And I know that she will lose a lot of weight and she will give it her all. Um, personally, getting to a weight where I'm comfortable and happy and enjoying life. Um, I work with the youth group at church, so just having that extra weight off me and being able to do dairy events and have fun with the youth group is nice. Um, as far as with my kids and my husband, just giving my husband that wife that he deserves to have um, and uh, just be that mom for my kids. My wife should be picked for the biggest loser because she has a lot of spunk. She has a lot of... Um, character to her and I think it would be an asset to the show uh, to be on something like that and plus she has a lot of um, heart to put into it to show people. I've always tried to be supportive of her with her weight loss and to try and encourage her but she also has a busy life and has three children that she's scheduling and running around here and there and then she started the store so it's been hard for her to uh, find the time and keep the discipline thing going. I am Clark Russell. I'm gay, I'm proud, and I will be representing you on The Biggest Loser. What doesn't work to my advantage is the fact that I work so many hours. I put in 10, 12 hours some days, five to seven days a week. and. My routine is probably getting six hours of sleep and, you know, I have to run out the house. Go to McDonald's, grab something to eat. Yeah, can I get a number 10 with two large sweetened iced teas? They haven't passed the law yet. Go to work, order whatever I can during work for lunch. And when I'm done late, I'll go and eat at a restaurant and I'll have a big meal at dinner. Then in my days off, usually what I do is that I just 
I don't know why, but it seemed like on my days off, I really like sweets. <laughs> I think Erica and Clark would do be a great team. They are so funny together. I am. Th my, my <laughs> Oh, you know what sounds good? What? Have you ever had one of those vanilla wafer, like banana pudding cake or whatever? It would be Comedy Central for for The Biggest Loser. Woohoo! McCovey's! Woo! Can you pull this up, my tiny up? <laughs> like you never touch a fat man's food and you don't touch a, <laughs> a, a gay man's hair. <laughs> I think that they would work really hard and they're both very committed to losing the weight. You know, I'm excited that we're teaming up together to do The Biggest Loser because it's time for us to get back to yeah. ourselves. Yep. With my partner Erica, together we create a fun, entertaining, enjoyable atmosphere even though we're going to be cussing at each other and probably the trainers and crying most of the time. But ideally we're there for a purpose and the purpose is, is to lose weight to support each other and to help us be able to bring it and win this. Just maybe be able to come back and shop in my store and pick out what I want instead of what I know will fit that's, you know, real stretchy. So probably just being able to come and enjoy the clothes that I've already paid for. We're running. Okay. I'm Clark Russell. I'm Erica Kramer. And we are season seven's next biggest, biggest loser. Bump <laughs> 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 <laughs>to take care of herself and to focus on her. If they were to lose the weight, it would inspire a lot of us to lose the weight as well. If you're chosen, Clark, God bless you, and I wish you the best always, and you know that from the bottom of my heart. But I can just say, honey, give it your all. Give it your all. You know, you're going to do what you can to do your best, and I love you no matter what. Another satisfied customer here was the team, the, the team that makes everybody look good. That's right. The next Biggest, biggest losers. losers. What is up with this? We make all these skinny bitches look great and then what okay. is up with us? It's know. about time we're doing this yeah. for ourselves. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. good. Okay, peace out. Bye.